This is the analog pocket. In 2019, I first saw this product, something that could play Game Boy games nicer than a Game Boy, and actually using the cartridges. I was a bit cautious initially, but then people started to say that they liked it. So I ordered it, and it came in. Or more aptly, came in a year later, after multiple delays and multiple messages of I do not know where it is, oh hey it's there, it's there soon. But the question is, for the money, is this the best option? For example, a modded Game Boy Advance SP. It's nice, but the screen isn't as nice. Good build quality, not amazing. You can fold it and put it away, but it doesn't have save states. It doesn't have library function. It doesn't have as nice of a screen. Or conversely, you could get something like this, the Ambernick, a standalone emulation device. But the problem is it's obviously emulation, but it's not that good emulation. And you'll have multiple technical issues. I got a good bit through a game when it just decided to delete my saves. So the Ambernick is a no. That's the thing with the analog pocket, is it's really solid. It has a USB-C charging port, it has a really, really nice screen. I cannot overstate how having the games fill up the entire screen just looks fantastic, and it's vibrant, it's everything that I could say that's good about a screen. The buttons feel absolutely brilliant, they're clicky without being too spongy. That said, the only real flaws that I found personally is, for example, it doesn't run with games that require a rumble pack, like Perfect Dark, Pokemon Pinball, stuff like that just flat out won't work. But it also has additional features that the original Game Boy obviously doesn't have, like the aforementioned save states, you can take screenshots. Also under the interesting features, it has memories, which uh, has your save states, but it also has screenshots. And what's interesting is it says memories, all those moments will be lost in time like tears in the rain. Okay. It has library that lists all the games that you've played with no image, just I suppose so you know how many games you own. I don't, it's, it's cool, but not for me. It also has a sequencer that I absolutely do not understand. Not even a bit. <laughs> I'll try later. And so the general conclusion is this. If you want a device that's really, really good, that you don't have to deal with any jank, you don't have to know how to set up emulators and stuff, you just want to plug in your game and have it work really good, buy the game, buy the modded SP. But if you want something that's like an iPhone, that's just better, better, better quality, and has a couple of extra things you feel you can take advantage of, something that you'll want to play all of your old games with, then I think the Analog Pocket might be for you. Thank you for watching, God bless.